Well guys, <clears throat> heading into the cabin. Got a bit of a snowstorm falling in on us here. Kind of interesting now to be driving in. I've still got to cut a lot of trees and make this wider, but I'm pecking away at the road a little at a time, you know. But uh, it's supposed to turn into a wintry mix, get a bunch of slushy crap, so it'll be interesting coming out. I picked up this old 2001 Jeep Cherokee just as something to kick around with, you know. I've got to get some better tires for it though because uh, I don't have snow tires and we're driving in and we're getting a snowstorm. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Especially these narrow spots. <laughs> Frank is like, uh, I don't know about this. I think we should have got the Polaris. Definitely uh, makes it interesting driving in with a vehicle now. You know? It's short-lived though. Uh, winter's upon us now, so this might be the last trip in with a vehicle, you know. And it depends on how much snow and stuff we get tonight, <laughs> whether or not I'm driving out. <laughs> it's all part of the adventure though, man, you know. Okay. Have a little adventure. Uh, I'm going to spend a couple of days, do a little deer hunting, I guess, and just kind of kick back, and then I got a show to do. And that's the last show I have booked for the season. Yeah, and I'm going to come in and hole up for a while. Yeah, man. I'm curious to see what it's going to be like in the morning. Pretty. I'm going to go ahead and get a fire lit, get unpacked, make the place home. Yeah. Get the bark all nice and dry. Yeah. I mean, that worked out like a charm. I've got a nice batch of bark here it should last me all winter long and I've got some more stashed away in the attic if I have to refill the barrel huh nice and dry good tinder worked out just like a charm got a place for everything and everything in its place kindling right here where I need it with several boxes on reserve Listen to that birch bark crackle and pop like that. If that was newspaper, it'd be burnt out already. Look at it. It's already igniting the kindling. It's just fantastic stuff. Can't be beat, really. Yep. Cruising already, man. Can't argue with that. I gotta say, huh? Huh, Marka? Is that good? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good fire. Uh, see, you helped with that fire, but... See, Paka? You helped with all that. You did. You did. <laughs> First order of business is to take care of the birdies. I provide the chow and they provide the entertainment. Guess you could say it's supper for a song around this place. cabin's been getting outfitted pretty good by my viewers. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Uh, over the last month or so, I received quite a few different boxes. Uh, people know I like my coffee, so they've sent me quite a few different varieties of coffee to try, and that's been really uh, enjoyable. Um, I've gotten beers from different parts of the country, uh, different food items, uh, things for the cabin. Um, I've got some really cool dish towels here nice rustic designs here for the cabin uh, these are really nice um, just so many things and it's really nice to uh, 
know that people enjoy my videos so much that uh, they feel that they should send something up for the cabin. Little tokens of appreciation, they call them. And uh, it's been fun. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank everybody that has sent stuff up. It's been a lot of fun getting the packages. Frankie's gotten a lot of different toys and stuff like that. So, anyway, I want to thank everybody. Uh, it's been a lot of fun getting the boxes. <laughs> yeah. A hot cup of chamomile tea, a dog at my feet, and a chair by the wood stove. Not a bad way to spend a Tuesday, really. I'll give you all a little update on the cooler box. Uh, this is working out awesome. I mean, here it is. That's reading right about 39 degrees. As you can see, there's no ice in here at all. It's just my little door letting the cold winter air in. Uh, I got my ham steak, my beers. This is just a bag of insulation that I stuff in that hole when I need to. Um, Everything is nice and cold, and my yogurts and everything. Everything is just nice and cold. That's holding right at 39 degrees. You see, the temps are in the 30s outside. The box is staying right at 39 and 40. There's no fan needed. I'm not running my battery power. I'm not running any juice, no fuel, nothing to keep my food cold. The plan is working out outstanding. I don't know why people felt that I need to run a fan. I guess it's just our society, our tendencies to overthink things and overcomplicate everything. Now here it is. Uh, my food is staying cold entirely by the powers of Mother Nature. And I'm doing it conveniently right off of my kitchen here. I'm not going in the basement. I'm not going outside. I'm no longer digging in a cooler. I don't have a gas refrigerator burning up a gallon of uh, propane a day. Just using common sense. But some people just don't have that common sense connection. Their food is kept cold by a refrigerator and a freezer. And that is it. It's cut and dry. So if the power goes out, they can't keep their food cold. Now, when I'm staying here for any length of time, what I will do is just put a big uh, ice bottle in there even though it's winter time. Um, that way, if I'm not home and the temperature comes up outside during the day, gets up in the 40s or even higher, I still, I got no worries because I, I have an ice bottle in there maintaining the temperature. Now, just because I have an ice bottle in there, if the temperature drops down around zero degrees, it's not gonna make it colder because of the ice bottle. So I think it's just gonna be cheap insurance, you know, to have an ice bottle in there. And in the winter time, I'm just going to have the ice bottles outside and let Mother Nature freeze them. You know, like I said in my birch bark video, stuff like this was just common knowledge back in the day. Uh, people took advantage of Mother Nature as much as possible. And that kind of common sense has been bred right out of our society. It's really amazing. Common sense, man. It's the way to go. Sometimes you got to think outside the box, man, you know? Yeah. <laughs>